Yesterday, the Special Rapporteur on the Human Rights Situation in the Occupied Palestinian Territory joined the voices of many recognizing that Israel has established an apartheid system over Palestinians and recommended the international community to accept and adopt the findings by human rights organization that apartheid is being practiced by Israel in the occupied Palestinian territory and beyond. This important recognition is critical given the ongoing systematic human rights violation against the Palestinian people with institutionalized impunity and immense unprecedented shrinking space against Palestinian civil society organizations. Palestinians have been reiterating that Israel has established and maintained apartheid against the Palestinian people as a whole, including Palestinians in the occupied territory inside the Green Line and Palestinian refugees and exiles denied their right to return, and that apartheid is only a tool to realize the Zionist settler colonial project as the root cause and driving force behind the continuation of displacement, dispossession, domination, and systematic fragmentation of the Palestinian people. The recent reintroduction of the citizenship and entry into Israel law which denies Palestinian family unification is just the latest manifestation of how Israeli discriminatory laws and policies are systematically designed, designed to enforce settler colonialism and apartheid, while denying the Palestinian people their right to self-determination. These days, we see that world leaders have the political will to hold those who commit crimes accountable. This political will has been long needed for the Palestinian people. It is time to sanction and hold Israel accountable.